Meanwhile, just one game over in East Penn Conference boys soccer yesterday. It was a pivotal one, though, and as you'll see in a moment, it certainly lived up to the billing. Whitehall taking on Liberty at BASD Stadium. The Zephyrs on an absolute tear of late. After a 1-3 and three start to their season, the Zephs had won 7-9 of nine going into last night, riding a five-game winning streak in which Whitehall had outscored its opposition 17-5. to five. Facing a hurricane squad with a fair bit of confidence themselves, Liberty coming off back-to-back -back wins, the Canes having produced 13 of their 25 total goals this season in just the last two matches. A 5-1 win over East Stroudsburg North for Jason Horvath's group last Thursday, followed by an 8-0 victory at Beeruf on Saturday, had the Canes back in the district playoff conversation. At 5-6 going into yesterday, Liberty needed to win four of its final seven outings to secure a postseason berth. First-year head coach Chris Malone, meanwhile, already has his 8-4 Zephyrs in the district playoffs, looking for a win yesterday to bolster Whitehall's chances of a home playoff game in the EPC tournament. And it would be the visitors who struck first yesterday afternoon. 17th minute of action when senior Miguel Roa from the left wing sends a dummy pass into the middle through Zach Onsino and right to an unmarked Gio Mazzola, who makes no mistake in slamming home his team-leading 10th goal of the season. Beautiful execution by the Zephyrs on the early conversion. Whitehall then bidding for a 2-0 lead moments later, but Roa's strike from the wing thwarted by Liberty senior keeper Johnny Smith. Check out the extension with the right arm, keeping it 1-0 Zephs at the halftime break. It's been a tandem effort in goal all season for the Canes. Fellow senior Owen Castle taking over in the second half, and he displays his athleticism early with an equally brilliant stop on Roa, again with the right arm to keep it a 1-0 deficit. Big save at a big time because Liberty would find the equalizer just moments later. 52nd minute, junior Dylan Lewis winning a race for a loose ball down the left side before chipping in his second goal of the season. Just a hustle play by Lewis against a pair of defenders to make it 1-1. We'd need bonus time to decide this one. Best chance in the first overtime coming from Liberty senior Kaiki Costa Duarte, able to shift the ball over to his right foot before delivering a strike. But Zephyr's senior keeper Cole Gurney in perfect position to make the stop, pushing us to a second overtime period where the sixth corner of the game for Whitehall would be the last. Mauricio Vasquez with the delivery, creating a goal mouth scramble. And out of all of that chaos, it's Miguel Roa, who was twice denied earlier in the game, who buries the game winning goal. Third time's the charm for Roa as the Zephyrs outlast the Hurricanes 2 to 1. Roa's seventh goal of the season, pushing Whitehall to its ninth win of the year.